Hello and welcome to episode 14 of Dynasty Tactics. We're carrying on from timeline 3, we're still fighting off Sao Sao. Well, really, we're not fighting him off anymore, we're actually attacking him at Bo Wan Po. And essentially, what's going to happen is we're going to be fighting him here at Bo Wan Po. And we've got a strong army of Wan to defend. And we're essentially just going to use these four turns to try and grab as much territory as we can. We've already grabbed all this territory over here. And then we're moving down here. We're going to send our army to Jiaojiki to try and get uh, the item that's there. We're going to grab as much territory over here as we can. We probably won't get all of this because of the... Because it takes a turn to do that and I really don't think... We've only got one army there. So, really, I don't think we'll get many here. Because I can't go this way because... Oh, no, wait. No, I can't go this way because... Jiangzhou is occupied. So, I've already saved, so let's just go for it. Awesome! So, we obtained the histories. We obtained all of these cities. Awesome. We obtained Zhao Fan. We obtained Fei Shi. <clears throat> right now, what are you doing? You are still just really sitting here, aren't you? You're probably going to attack me with an army eventually, but either way, whatever way you go, I'm ready for you, so. Right, what does the histories do? Let's have a look. Leadership up by 20. <clears throat> Who do I want to have that? <clears throat> Jai Light might be a good one. No, he's already got the blue dragon. Do I really need Overlord? <clears throat> I don't really need Overlord on you. Let's give you histories, and that makes your leadership up to 90 freaking 5. I'm sure there's someone else that's better for the main day. <clears throat> right, but in terms of movement this turn, Gong Ji, I need you to go to Wu Ling. Jian Lang, you're pretty much done. You can be relieved. Right, Yuan Shu. I want you to. I don't really think you're going to be able to do much, to be fair, because you've got to go all this way. I'll send you to Jian Dong. You can just start coming down here, Gun Sun Zan. You can start. You can uh, move here to Jian Ning. Li Dian, you can do me a favor and move to Jiao Ji. Guan Peng, you can actually. <clears throat> yeah, you can come down here too. You can move there as well. Right, I need Wei Yan to come up here and get Fei Yi. I may have to reload the save there for that. Li Yan, you come down here and get Li Hui. <clears throat> we still have three turns and we're most likely going to be attacked on this other turn that we do. Now let's have a quick look. Yeah, we're pretty much good. We pretty much got the majority of people that we could have. <clears throat> Look at the amount of officers we have. It's unbelievable. Well, nobody got caught. We gained another officer. No, another um, item. 
And Zhu Huang has learned Pierce. We have Zhen Zhuan. <clears throat> we have Fei Yi. We have Li Hui. Uh, lots of good stuff. Now, what item did we get there? The, treat the Treatise, which is basically a worse version of the other thing we got. You know what, Gang Nang, you take the treatise. Um... <clears throat> yeah, you take that up your leadership. Why not? Um... I need somebody that's good with intelligence and leadership. Oh no, you've got genius, I don't want to do that to you. Not get anyone quite yet. Like, can we form spies? I could use some spies. Are you has everybody done healing up? Oh, I'm on the wrong screen. I was so confused there. I was like, what is going on? Why, why, why am I not seeing half the people? Right, that's that. Sorted. Right, Dong Zhao, you just move up towards Wan, just in case. What are they doing? They're still just sitting here, not really doing anything. They're probably trying to rebuild their army. We still have two turns, so next turn we need to take Jianjia. And you actually can't go up this way. There's nothing else you can really do, so let's just disband you. And let's disband you. <clears throat> oh, Gongji, you're no longer needed. Um. Oh, but you are a spy. So we'll relieve you just now. <clears throat> And then make you a spy. Oh no, wait, you're quite. You're still quite um, battled up from when we actually took you out. Wei Yan, you can be relieved. There is no way I have enough turns to get Jiang Wei this turn. So I think what we'll do <clears throat> is we'll grab Yu Jun. Yu Ei Jun. And we'll send Guan Ping to grab Jian Yang. We'll grab these two turns, uh, these two, and then Guan Ping will grab Zhu Ti, and Gun Sun Zan will grab Yunnan. Next turn, well, we also simultaneously attack Jiang Jia. This is going well. Going well. Now, I don't think there's anything else I need to do, so let's just have a quick look. I could get Dong Yong, but I've not got enough turns to get him down there. And I've not got enough turns to get Jiang Wei up there either. So I think we're done. Well, interesting. We didn't get attacked. So Liu Bei and Guan Yu did a thing. They killed some beasts. You're definitely going to attack this turn. You've got to. This is the last turn you can possibly do anything, so... Let's send Hao Zhao. Over to Jiang Jia, he'll capture that. We're actually the one of the most strongest, we are the strongest force in China at the moment. <clears throat> Guan Ping just move and uh, capture Zhu Ti. And Gun Sun Zan, do me a favour, come get you Nan. Now I know there's someone there in Yong Chang. I think the places where you find people are the very four corners of the map. So the, the four corners has someone there that will teach you something if you go all the way up there. The only exception is this bottom right hand side, which doesn't have any, any corner, so to speak. So there's not much else to do. Well, my two armies are moving to capture that. We own the southwestern area now. 
Liu Zhang only has like four cities, so we're gonna have to fight him eventually. We can't come up to the north, um, northwest yet, but we pretty much own all the south, apart from one territory that we're leaving till next one. And Sun Chuan. Right, I think we're gonna get into a fight with uh, Sal Sal this turn, so be prepared for that. And here we are. <clears throat> now technically that means we are moving on to the greater good. And uh, we're actually... Oh, for God's sake. Everybody's been thingied, been moved away. Technically that means we are... So we have six turns to stop Sal Sal's movement south within the time given. And this is also the scenario where you have a branching path. You can either take Ling Ling and if you take Ling Ling, Wu Ling, Changsha and Gui Yang, that will lead you down one path. If you choose to leave at least one city in control of the faction, it will lead you down a different one. So we are going to have to make a branching save when we come back to this, but for now, we're going to be done with this timeline. Because that means we are completely done with this one. So let's just have a save. Save this timeline. Let me just make a note of what we've done.
so let me see. We just completed um, the battle for Jin. And that means we're over to the greater good in um, chapter 7. So we're done with that chapter 6 thing here. So the only thing for it now is to save. <clears throat> and we are saying goodbye to this timeline for now because we have to... We're now caught up. So now we need to return to... We have done, we have we got to chapter 7 in our historical... Well, historical-ish playthrough. Now we need to return to this timeline. Timeline 2. But of course we will... Is there a way I can just get back to the main screen from here? I don't even think so. Is there a way I can just go straight back to the... the frickin... Like, I just want to go back. I don't think I can. I think I need to reset. Yeah, I had to reset. Okay, that's fine. So we're gonna jump to timeline... Jump over. Timeline 2. Let me just make notes. Because I have to make notes to keep up with what's going on in this. Right, okay. Um, so, if you don't remember what we done in Timeline um, 2, let's just explain that. So what we just done is we came down here and we just completed that and we moved here to the greater good. So we have two different um, branching paths here. This is dependent on whether or not you capture those Jin provinces. So we need to, obviously, we need to do explore both of these. But right now we're going to jump over to this timeline. Now this is where here, early in the game, you decide whether to ally or attack him. We decide to ally in timeline two. We came here. We came here. And then we have Lubu at the court and Lubu and Sao Sao. Now Lubu at the court is not the one in Timeline 2. Do we, Lubu and Sao Sao is where we're at. So we're going to do this and then move to here. So let's rewatch this event to refresh your memory. And here we are. Okay, so right off the bat you'll notice we don't have all of that. <laughs> yeah, it's quite depressing um, when you jump from when you jump from one timeline like that. But basically, this is the exact same as what we've done in Battle for Jing. It's the exact same except we're fighting Lu Bu rather than Liu Zhong, so Lu Bu is a lot tougher. But other than that, it's pretty much the exact same. Now, let's have a quick look at armies, because we barely have any. And also give me a second while I quickly check something.
Okay, I've checked what I needed to check. Right, let's form an army. So we we are at, we do not have half of the amazing officers that we had in the preview. Look at that. We don't have half of them. We do have some, but not all of them. So we're gonna have to be set up some strong armies here to go and take care of to go and defend against Sal Sal. And let's put Go on you here and I don't want to. I don't want to chuck everybody, every strong one we have in the one army, because we need to. Also, we need to attack. We need to be attacking um, Lu Bu at the same time. Let's put Wan Ping in there. That's one army. I need another. It's gonna have to be Gang Ning with Man Chong. Put Zhao Zhang Fei in here with someone else. Um, let's put Lian in here. Right, and the third army is going to be led by Yue Jin. It's going to have Ma Liang as the. Going to have Zhao Yun, and we're going to have Jai Ling. Right, so that's three armies. Can I make? I can make a. I can make another one. Great. Um, Lidian, you lead that one, and that's it. So we're definitely. So what we're gonna do here is, do I have any more spies? So we're gonna. I know what we're doing is we're, we're working with a lot fewer. Um, a lot fewer armies than what we we had before. So we're gonna come up towards. I guess we're going to do the same thing, really. We're just going to... Yeah, we're, we're going to go to Wan. We're not going to go to Bowan this time. Sorry about that, I was interrupted. Right, so... Yeah, Gang Nang and Liu Bei, you guys are going to... In fact, you know what? Let's do it. Let's, um... Oh, no, wait, because no. I need to have an army stationed here, just in case they go down this way, even though I don't think they will. But you guys... You've got the job of taking down Lu Bu's forces at Jian Yang. And I'm going to send one spy here and one spy down there. So we're going to split our spies. And we really are going to need everybody we can get to do this fight at the moment. Well, Li Hui, you can go, you can start going to get these guys. I'm gonna need Lian at the moment. So yeah, it's basically the exact same as Battle for Jing, except you're fighting Lu Bu, so you're fighting a much power more powerful force than um, Liu Zhong. Well I need Li Hui to start moving down this way, because he's got a lot of people he can collect over there. Oh, and there's actually a bunch of civilians here, but I can't really get them. Not really got anybody that can pick them up. So we're going to get into two fights. We're probably going to fight Sao Sao at one, and also Lu Bu at Jian Yang for sure. So let's uh, get this all shown the road. Yep, here we go. Sao Sao has attacked. It's going to be interesting, it's going to be difficult-ish to hold him off here. Because he's going to have really good officers and I'm kind of lacking. Ah, so guiding Liu Bei against Sao Sao and Tian Feng. Do I want Ambush or Revive? I want Revive. Right. Let's have a look. Who are we up against? We are up against Tian Feng. I want you. You're really good. Sao Ren can't capture you. Hao Zhao could use you. Capture you. Sao Sao himself. We need Scott Meng Day, so we want to take him down to capture that. Gojia can't capture you. Wen Xiao, we want you. Zhu Huang, we want you. And Zun Yu, we want you. So a lot of capturable guys here that we want. And we can 
capture, we can bring one of his... We can bring Zunyu straight down here right away, so let's do that. Right, and we actually can't do this river to plains. We need to be on. We need to go to the shoal, which is annoying. So we have ten turns to do this. So we're pro pretty much going to be fighting Sal Sal for this. These ten turns, essentially. Mostly Sal Sal. We are going to have to fight um, Lu Bu as well. Uh, those guys are. They're setting stuff up. But he's not going to do it this time, he's going to build a depot first. Who's this I can put down? Wen Chow. Yeah, let's um, get you down here. They're building lots- oh, that's a tower, rather than a depot. I don't get why you would want to build a tower at the very back. Like, I'm not gonna ever do that. Wait, we can pit someone else. We can pit Hao Zhao. Let's get him down. Let's get him down as well. Right, so we need a five. We need a five to get you. Let's keep you here, Wang Ping. For now. Oh, that's nasty. That was nasty. Right, let's put you here. Hmm. Right, I don't... Yeah, yeah, just move up here. The towers actually get in the way more so than anything, really. So, Sao Sao's officers are really good experience because he's defeated Yuan Shao. So... We have that to deal with. Right, I can't do anything, so just attack. is renowned throughout the land. General, it is a great honor to meet you on the battlefield. Well, good for you. Yet, you know my name. And still you wish to fight me? My respect for you, that is personal. On the other hand, my taking your life that is my duty! Huh? <laughs> the stories are true! A plus 10 to morale for going, you I'll take it. Oh, come on. Right, I could do... Uh... I would need to trigger it with you, which is fine. But I can do something here. I can do a 1, 2, 3, and a 4. And then if I... Yeah, I, if I do... Yeah, that works. That works to get Hao Zhao. Let's move here. Get us set up. 
We're just going to have to do a lot of work to get these officers. Worthless carrion out of my way! Right, let's see. Yeah, we've got until who's got who's five? You're five, right? Okay, so we can we can do some stuff. I could pet salsa down here, but why do we, why would we want to do that? We do not want to do that. So let's just. You know what? We could actually use a revive. We could use a revive here to raise our morale a wee bit. Ah, damn it. That's one ping, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. <sighs> I guess we'll try this with a four. Wasn't enough. Damn it, we're not gonna get him this turn. We definitely that pit definitely screwed us over in terms of that, sadly. What a bad start, eh? What a bad start. Could have got Hao Zhao there if that had just worked, but sadly not quite. We just didn't do enough damage to him. And their morale's going crazy. Yeah, for now, let's just bow attack Zhu Huang, because he's got his thing activated, so... Ugh. Let's bring his morale down with these towers. These towers are just getting in the way at this point, really. Right, Zunyu, you're level 7, so I need a 6. Yeah, this isn't going to get linked. I can't link this. Where can you move? Oh, you can move back the way. You're probably going to move back the way. Could get a four. Ah. 
could I make that work? I doubt it. I definitely would need a 5 of some kind to get Zunyu, so let's just wait. Let's not be hasty. We cannot lose! We must not lose! <laughs> <clears throat> right. I'm gonna give up on Hao Zhao. We're not gonna get him. My lord, the enemy is in that direction. Hmm. Yeah, get a depot here. This fight's not going great. Like, can you heal him? There's just too much clutter down here. We've got two towers, a depot. There's so much cluttered about here that it's proving to be annoying. What are you doing? <clears throat> and I'm completely penned in here, I can't do anything. Getting, f getting quite annoying. See, I could boost and then decoy and then raid and then volley. That would be a four. But there's no way that's good enough to get these guys. So wait. Just wait. We need to put in the work if we want to get them. Actually, kind of glad he did that. Because that sets something up for I can possibly get Zhu Huang. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what I needed you to do. I needed you to just stay there.
let he who desires death face me. Ah! That always screwing things up now. Right, if things go well with what I've got in mind, we could get Zhu Huang and Zhu Yu, possibly. I shall rule supreme! Man, what the frick are you doing? Come on. Just boosting your morale to up to hundreds. Okay, fair. <laughs> this is insane. I shall rule supreme. The eye is stuck in a continuously raising the morale thing. Right, I should be able to do what I have in mind. So if I switch now... One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, I think we're gonna go for it. Damn it, Gang Nang. Damn it, Gang Nang. I know that was my fault. That was my fault. Hey, can we at least get Zhu Huang? All attack, repel, pet, decoy, and then a flank, and then a no, that we won't. He won't go there. One, two, three, four, and a five. I could maybe try a five to get Zhu Huang. Nah, of course not. Of course not. This is just not my day, is it? Not my day. No chance of getting Zhu Huang right now. We could still get Zun Yu though. He's looking. He's not doing much apart from walking right into our foot. Our men. <sighs> right. Um. 
Yeah, you can do. There's a two there. That's a three. I'm so fed up with these guys where they're constantly reviving and boosting. Like, please give up. We cannot lose! We must not lose! Right, if I boost, where's seven? Who goes seventh? Wang Peng, who goes sixth? You? Right, okay, I can set this up. We may be able to get Zun Yu. And if I'm seriously lucky, maybe Wen Cho. Wen Cho. Right, let's go for it. Well, we got one. One out of two. <clears throat> I suppose that's better than nothing. Now, let's say I'm just re... Just reform our ranks. Uh, right, I need... To, I really need to heal up and restore some tactics here if I can. How Zhao, give it up. Just give up. So we really failed. We didn't get Zhu Huang, we didn't get Wen Chou. Didn't get Hao Zhao. Didn't get any of the ones I wanted, really. And we still have four armies to go. Right, enough for it, let's start getting over here. My army is quite, um, kind of like depleted in terms of tactics. Like, Man Chong, if Man Chong just had one decent strategy there, like, he could have got Wen Chou. Wen Chou. Right, let's just hold here. Get everybody organized. Just 
continuously heal Gangneng, boost up his forces a little bit. And we have got another fight after this, we get Lu Bu. <clears throat> the good thing is, once we wipe out Lu Bu completely, we can capture all of his officers. And that will be a nice boost to our army, so we can take all the Gen guys. Maybe even Zhang Liao as well, if we're lucky. Right, here we go, we're going to start engaging these the remnants here. It's not looking good though, not looking great. We can still capture Tian Feng, but I think at this point that's kind of doubtful. That's absolutely fine. I have no problem with that whatsoever. Right, they're gonna start... Oh, that's not good. I can break that with a heal. That would have been a fire attack, which would have been nasty. Right, let's just do some damage to them here. Because we need to start, I need to start thinking about just winning this battle. Just try and bring Sal Sal's um, morale down if you can. Who's this? Right, we can't capture Gogia, so let's just try and take him down. Right, that puts Gojia out of the picture for a while. Although for some reason he can still use trumps even though he's confused. We need to destroy everybody with a commander's flag and in this fight that's pretty much everyone. Why do we need to do that? Because if we don't they'll appear in Nanmi and then they'll attack us again. Let he who desires death face me! Oh well, we're going, we're going somewhere. It's not going nearly as the way I wanted it to go, but...
Oh, we've still got so much to go. Right, um, I need to get rid of your Overlord ability. Because you're just going to keep on hitting me with ambushes if I don't. Oh, come on! Get annoyed now. I've not I've I've just not got options right now. I have just not got options for tactical combos at the moment. Hey, there's one. Yeah, that screws us over of any potential. That screws us out of any potential tactical combos there. I've got half my army confused at the moment. There's two. Got a guaranteed two. I could raid through here. So frustrating, man. So frustrating. Just trying to oh. fire attack again. Right, all attack, raid, repel, decoy, decoy. One, two, three, four. That's only a five, man. That's. Go for it.
else wish to die? Surprisingly, we got Tian Feng. Surprisingly. I didn't expect to get him. He was level 8 and we got him with a 5. So we got Ta Tian Feng and we got Zun Yu in this battle. I'm okay with that. That's deep, but that's two great strategists that he no longer has. So he, that was an alright, that was a win for us, really. Yeah, Rock Slide is n of no use here. <laughs> Absolutely no use. Um, right. We want to. We definitely need to take out Gojia before we take out Sao Sao. Right, I've got an idea on how we can do this. It's been a tough fight, let's not pretend though, let's not kid ourselves, it's been tough. Right, this should be great. We should be able to take down maybe Sal Sal. Probably not Sal Sal actually, come to think of it. But let's do this. Right, so we got Gojia down, but obviously not out for good. And we need so now we can finish off Sal Sal and be done with this fight. This is a brutal fight, been brutal. We didn't lose anyone surprisingly, but very surprisingly, we didn't lose anyone. Yeah, that should do it. The 
pathetic fools! I'll take on all of you! South South's down, we got the main day, everything went well-ish. We could have walked out that battle with Wen Chou and Zhu Huang if I hadn't have mucked up, but we held them off and we got a bunch of level ups. Uh, yeah, you've learned revive, revive, switch, surround, yeah, good stuff. And now we have another fight. <laughs> this one's a little bit easier though, we actually have the numbers advantage. Um, which I didn't think we would have. And it's Zhan Yang, it's the enemy capital. So yeah, we definitely have the advantage here, Eugene and Lidian against Lu Bu. Yeah, let's give you ambush. They have the morale advantage it seems. Well, let's see who we've got. We have 6 against 5, but yet we're exact... That's weird, we're exactly even in terms of trip numbers. So we get Li Dian, Chen Gui, Zhao Yun, Yue Jin, Ma Liang, and Jai Ling. Against a footman unit, um, Chen Gong, Hong Zhu, Zhang Liao, and Lu Bu himself. I think what we're going to do here is we're actually just going to beat Lu Bu. But we're going to do this next time. Because um, that was a tough ass episode. So we're going to save here. And when we come back we're just going to... No I think we will. We'll take out everybody because we're going to have to attack them again eh, regardless. And um, when they move the capital down to Jiangjia, so... That's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. When we come back, we'll finish off Lubu Jianyang.